One of the most important topics and questions I get all the time is the idea of why, why do I have this fear? This fear of rejection. This fear of rejection that actually holds you back. This fear of rejection that probably prevents you from taking leaps, taking risks. But think about where it actually comes from. I know in your own life, you probably have reasons for why you feel that you don't want to feel this fear of not wanting to blank. And before I get to that blank, I've got to have you understand one of the biggest human desires that we actually crave, and this is what I teach all day long with my clients, with so many of my students around the world, but it's all the same. We all experience the same fear. So how do we actually overcome it? Well, first, we've got to understand why we're actually fearing this in the first place. And in order to do that, the number one thing we're trying to gain by running from this fear is we all want acceptance. That's it. We all want acceptance. We all want the permission. We all want the permission to belong. We want to feel liked. We want to feel loved. And if that's our basic human desire, then what's the opposite of that? We are going to run far away from rejection. But I'm here to tell you today, you can't please everyone. There are going to be people that are not gonna like your ideas, that are going to say no with whatever you're putting out there, that are just not going to vibe with you, they're not gonna jive with you, they're not gonna be in the same alignment with you. But that is that really going to prevent you from being your truth? Is that really going to prevent you from sharing what you wanna share with the world? So here's some tips for you, and I want this to be a little self-reflection the next time that fear comes up, because it's real. I've faced it many times. It has almost prevented me from walking out of my marriage, walking out of this life that I had, walking out of everything, but it kept me in such a box because I was constantly trying to please every single other person. Probably same like you. And so some of these steps that you can follow is that I want you to collect as many no's as possible. So starting today, collect as many no's. Go out on the street, go pitch your idea to 20 people. Tell somebody on Facebook, somebody. Post it on Facebook. Share it with the world. Rejection, my dears, is part of your evolution. Rejection, my dear, is part of your tenacity to rise up, to get resilient, to keep going because it's not always going to be roses. However, you can keep rising and learning and dancing through all of the differences that start to occur. Because now you're starting to realize who you actually are. So collect your nose, practice, practice, practice. That's number two, practice. If you're not getting, I always say, if you're not getting one rejection a day, you're not practicing enough. Lastly, I want you to make a list. Make a list of all of the people. Maybe it's in your past. Maybe it's in your relationships because that's what really affects us the most and that's what really affects our decision making. But make a list of those people. Maybe it's one or two or three different people in your life. Maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your ex-husband, current boyfriend. Think of the times that you felt rejected Think of what did you actually feel? How did you feel? Why did you feel that way? And then I want you to sit with that and reflect on that. What did you actually learn from that? How did that actually make you stronger? How did that actually make you more resilient? And how are you going to choose differently because now you know much better?